Legends say that buying a new edition of Taco is accompanied by the explosion of a supernova. As approximately the same temperatures are reached at the buttocks of a newbie after their first Cadiz experience. To combat this, I've developed my secret weapon under the code name Guides. 10 tips for a newbie. Let's go! If you just started your journey, my condolences. I suggest checking the access in the location in advance. It's the main problem you'll face, so you google the map, go into offline raid and try to figure it out. Otherwise, you'll be a hedgehog in the park. Ok, that's clear. Now the second point. While you have a low level, you are nobody and nobody calls you anything. You'll assemble weapons from the trash and equipment from a cannon goose, at best. So you need to level up. I've already made a video about it, but in short, do quests, kill bats. The third point. This rule always works. There's another enemy, especially at the beginning of the vibe when newbies like you gather in large groups. After the death of their comrade, they freeze like meerkats and wait. So if you killed an enemy, know that there's probably another one. Don't rush to loot. Faults. Try to level up your workbench to the first level as quickly as possible. Collecting a gun by buying each item separately from the trader takes as long as waiting for a microwave timer to finish. But if you do it, you'll get access to assemble table, which is much more convenient. Fifth. No matter how pathetic your gun assembly is, it must always have a flashlight or a laser sight. You'll often shoot from the hip, and the accuracy without the auxiliary device is approximately the same if you speed against the wind. You will hit, but obviously not where you want that. Sixth. If you are doing quests, try to survive, avoid fights and go to less populated areas. That's where it's night in real life. Choose to go on night raids if possible, so your opponent is less likely to notice you. Now I remind, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll be able to give you even more guides and explanations. Seventh. Wear a helmet. Whatever they tell you about their uselessness, it's all nonsense, especially at the beginning of the vibe, when everyone has chewed paper instead of bullets, and the variety of guns revolves around stolen toes from the scaf and found barrel from AKS. I suggest at least taking the SSH 68 helmet and, if possible, Ratnik exchange when you open the flea market. Eight. Check spawn point for ammo. Initially, you won't have access to anything decent. Even killing a bat is a whole quest. Literally, this is such a quest. So finding a pack of BT cartridges neatly hidden under urine-soaked mattress is just what you need. There are plenty of such spawns. So google the location map, set the right filter and see where they are the most. On the customs at the Rishala base, but it's almost guaranteed to find them in the woods near near the forester's house, not missing the wooden and other boxes. Apart from cottages, there are also good models there. Ninth, Eat everything you see. Your metabolism is as good as mine in ballet. With a crappy metabolism like yours, an invalid like PMC with regulars suffer from hunger and thirst, leading to inevitable death. So you need to level it up. All you need to do this is to eat during raid. 10th. Active headphones are a must-have attribute for every self-respecting man. With them you can hear everything, like your teammate munching on the last Quakers for tour, like a weakling trying on a bush to the butt, and the sound of the wind will no longer cause bleeding from your eardrums. Even if you go to a raid naked, take at least Gesesha. But keep in mind, everything except Gesesha is better than Gesesha. Now is the time for you to express your opinion in the comments. Leave a like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye bye.